Student Council Representative Nicole St. Jean. Nicole, Hello. it's all yours. Okay, for sports, for um, the Oxford High varsity baseball team participated in a tournament in Cooperstown, New York, um, over vacation, and they won their game, and senior Jeffrey Bolio hit a home run during the game, so congratulations to them. The girls' softball team is having a great season. They also had games throughout the week and practices. Girls track as well. They had practices throughout the week. Their meet got postponed for today, but they have a meet coming up this week. And boys track, they also had numerous practices over the week, and they'll have a meet coming up this week as well. From student council, um, at the student council meeting tomorrow night, they will be electing new officers to the council. And good luck to all the candidates, and great job to the officers this year. This Wednesday is the annual Senior Citizens Dinner, and it is casino theme, and the dinner is 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. There will be spaghetti, meatballs, salad, and lots of fun. Um, this Thursday, several members of the Student Council will be traveling to Northbridge High School for the Central District Massachusetts Association of Student Council's Spring Conference. This Sunday, there's a lot going on. Several members of the Student Council are going to Boston to participate in the Walk for Hunger, which is like the statewide charity event that they're participating in, and a lot of student council members from across the state are going to be there. And also on May 10th, we'll be having school-wide elections for student council and class officers. From NHS, as of right now, right this minute, the NHS is working very hard in the auditorium to prepare the induction ceremony, which is May 3rd at 6 p.m. And this year, the National Honor Society is inducting 39 new members. That's great. And we've also added a new aspect to this year's induction ceremony where the graduating senior members, um, they got to invite their most influential teacher to come and we'll present them with a rose and it'll be a nice little ceremony inside the big ceremony. So it's a new thing we're adding. That's nice. From Best Buddies, the final cookout is this Saturday at the Webster Fish and Game where we'll present a scrapbook and everybody kind of gets together for the last time over the year. and says, you know, it's been a great year and we talk about everything that we've done and um, peer buddies as well as their families come out and um, it's a great thing, it's awesome. From the 84, they are preparing their end of the year banquet right now. Um, next week is a very important week for many seniors. The AP test will be taking place. May 4th is the AP calculus test. May 5th is the AP English test and May 9th is AP biology. And I'm not sure when AP history is, but several juniors will be taking that next week as well. And this week is very important for all the seniors because they have to choose their college this week. So very, very big things happening at OHS. Okay. You all set? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Nicole. We appreciate that. Thanks, um, next, if we could just move on to some routine matters. We have the approval of the minutes from April 11th in your pack. You also have the executive session minutes that we'll do separately, but they're also there that we'd like to get approvals tonight <laughs> if we can. To accept as printed. Thank you. We have a second, second. on the 11th. Okay. Very good. Can we put that to vote, please? Yes. 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 Can I also vote yes? Thank you very much. Next is the executive. To accept the executive as printed. Second. second. Oh, you guys are so energetic to tonight. Sister. Okay. Would put that to vote, please. Yes. 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 Can I also vote yes? Thank you very much. Uh, next on the agenda, I just want to beg the commi committee's uh, pardon for a minute. I'm going to have Mrs. Ennis um, give us a little presentation, sure, if she could. Thank you very much. Well, it's not really a presentation. All right. Well, call it what you want. Uh, and go ahead and do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that uh, some the public may not know, but uh, the school committee members here do know that every year um, the Massachusetts Association of School Committees has uh, different um, things that come up and they do have a life membership um, award that is given to a school committee member now anyone that's watched these meetings for the past seven years or so knows that mr. Peterson and I don't always see eye to eye but there have been moments <clears throat> but mr. Peterson being the longest standing member on this committee I do think that we should nominate him for his lifetime membership as he has been on various boards for MASC. He, when you go to the conference down the Cape or wherever it's held, you do notice that Mr. Peterson does stand out as everyone as they walk by, they bow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's expected here as well. So I think, I think that even though we don't always see eye to eye, I think that the work that he does do 
um, makes a difference. He does it for the kids. He has, of course, we all know educators in his family. Um, and I think that this is something that we should nominate him for. I do have the paperwork here, uh, Mr. Chairman, and that would be, I will pass that off to you because it has to be filled out by you. But my motion is to, um, I guess we would have to fill out the paperwork and pass it into MASC for a lifetime membership for Mr. Peterson. Very good. So we do have a motion. Do we have second. a second? Thank you, Mrs. Dwizik. Could we put that to vote, please? Yes. 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 Go ahead. You can say yes. <laughs> yes. Right. And I also vote yes, and, and it gives us great pleasure to do that, Mr. Peterson. You have been 18 years, I think, if I'm not mistaken, correct? 21. 21. <laughs> you so are mistaken. I am mistaken. <laughs> That's why they bow when they say <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, but we do seriously want to thank you for everything you've done for the kids, the town, um, and, I, and I really feel you deserve this. So we will be submitting this and, and putting you up for this. So, okay? Very that'll, that'll be Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, you're, Our thank you. <clears throat> Next on the agenda, we have um, the continued discussion of the FY12 budget. Mr. Himmelberger, would you like to take it? Thank you very much, Mr. Spitz. Um, <clears throat> as everybody probably knows by now, the, um, the legislature is certainly approving health insurance plan design changes to finally get a more equitable playing field. And the town has proposed um, health insurance plan design changes that would um, have a dramatic increase on uh, funds available for both the town and the school budgets. And right now, uh, we are in the process of getting all of the uh, unions in the town, three school, three townside unions, to approve a memorandum of agreement uh, that would change uh, the plan design primarily around co-pays. And if this does come to pass, um, it would realize about another $211,000 to the school budget. The money would pass basically from the indirect costs, which are charged against the school budget, to uh, monies that would then be appropriated for the operating budget. Um, the town has prepared two sets of uh, budgets, one with the plan design, one without. And we have certainly uh, chosen to be optimistic that this will be approved. Um, the the uh, machinery to get this monies transferred may uh, not happen until uh, the fall town meeting, um, but the monies would then be transferred uh, at that time. Uh, so we are cautiously optimistic that that will happen uh, over the next two weeks. Um, but that still certainly leaves a rather large uh, chasm uh, between the town's um, budget and what the school committee has approved back on April 4th. Um, $589,000 to be exact. Um, and unless there is additional revenues between now and town meeting, um, that would be the gap that we are facing. Um, we are still looking at a couple of town budget lines that also regard health insurance that may be a bit overstated um, based upon trend, which is no longer uh, a variable for FY12. So there's a possibility that um, there may be some additional funds, but we won't know that. Uh, for the, until the next week or so leading up to town meeting. So the best number that we can go by is the plan design uh, passing, giving a town budget of 14.331. Um, and as I said, that leaves uh, a delta between the school committee's 14.921 of about $590,000. And that would be the number that we will have to go by as we begin the process of, of um, reductions in order to meet that, that uh, town number of 14.3. Obviously, the calendar dictates that, that uh, layoff notices must go out by May 15th. Town meeting is May 4th. Um, the administrative team 
has worked long and hard to balance the financial limitations with the programming needs and the quality of education in, the, in our town. So as you can see, uh, in order to make up that kind of a gap, uh, it would require uh, reductions of 10 positions. And some of them do have an impact on class size. Um, the proposed reductions uh, would eliminate 10 positions through layoffs or attrition. At the Chafee School, it would be one classroom teacher, also two literacy positions. At Barton, it would be two classroom positions. At the middle school, it would be three unified arts positions. At the high school, it would be one art position and one world language position. And these reductions are a byproduct of the fiscal reality, which is FY12. And we have been saying that for, well, since this budget cycle began back in December, that it was going to be the most challenging time to certainly try and finance public education. It doesn't make, uh, it doesn't give us much solace that we are not alone as a district facing these kinds of, of gaps. Um, but unfortunately, this is the fiscal reality and this is where we are with what we know today. Um, Can I just interrupt with a question certainly. if I could? How is this going to work if, if we're not going to really have the monies from the, the plan design changes until September and mm -hmm. the budget actually goes into effect in July and we're planning on that money if we, as we so voted it? Right. How does that it's a very affect good us question. in September? Yeah, it's a very good question because, as you know, while the school committee budgets are set and, and voted at town meeting and that line then becomes... Um, um, one total number, there's over 1,100 lines to the budget. Obviously, what we would do, knowing that that would be voted and transferred at the October fall town meeting, would be to transfer money line by line, probably from utilities to cover salaries. And then once that um, it just scares me. that money's come becomes official. Mm -hmm. So what happens if the money doesn't become official though? Well, I believe once the plan design is, is voted, mm -hmm. it's a mere formality. Okay, so that's a guarantee once it's voted. And that, that not only applies to the school side, but also to the municipal side. Right. Um, who also, that also has uh, a significant amount um, to gain. Go ahead, I'm sorry for the interruption. Continue. So that, that is a good question, but it, the way it would be compensated for is once, um, and this is town council making sure that all of the T's are crossed, um, that the actual vote is a mere formality to transfer the funds um, so that they can be then used for operations both on the school and town side. Okay. Anything, Mr. Matthew, to add? Um, well, I think the revenue picture, at least from the town's perspective, is pretty much finalized now. Um, at the April 13th Finance Committee uh, meeting, uh, the Finance Director did go over um, the final FY11 tax levy along with new growth. So those numbers are, are, are finalized as well as the state aid number I think is pretty well fixed at this point in time with uh, the House re recommending, uh, at least for Oxford, the Governor's numbers and the Senate going along at least verbally with those numbers. So uh, for, from the revenue side, we're probably as we're, we're, prob we're probably done. The town has probably, you know, completed its work there. So now it's a question of, you know, can we redirect additional revenues to the school or do we have to find additional cuts? Okay. Mrs. Ennis? If I, if I may, Mr. Chairman, just a question to Mr. Matthew. I'm just curious. Are you seeing a reduction or hearing of the reduction in lottery aid across, is this across the board or is it town by town? Do you know? Uh, it's town by town, but every every town has been affected on the, on okay, the lottery. Okay, that's aid. what I was wondering, and and all in reduction in their lottery aid. Uh, well, I can't. I did. I, I, I don't just know didn't know if you heard it through the grapevine. I'm pretty sure every town has re received about a nine percent reduction. Okay, thank you. Any other questions from the committee? I think we've pretty much talked about this budget for quite some time now, and we did vote to approve to go to town meeting with this budget. So, 
Um, I think that's where we stand on that presently. Um, as part of the public hearing, we will be calling that shortly. Um, so just bear with us on that, and we'll, we'll let you. Hmm? Oh, you go right ahead, Mr. Dennis. Um, retirements are still at two. Yes, two two uh, teachers. And have the yes. letters gone out? To the to the ones that are at retirement state. Yes. To say, and yes. you're not hearing anything back. Nothing at all. Yeah. As, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, uh, Mrs. Ennis, it was interesting comparing to other districts. Most every district is seeing the same um, postponing of retirement. Uh, primarily due to health insurance mm -hmm. and so folks are staying um, teaching longer where the, in the past they could have retired they're teaching closer to get to that 65 so um, it's a trend that that we are seeing that we saw last year and certainly this year um, and probably um, across the state we'll see an uptick in that for the next year FY 13 an uptick in retirements but yes no one else availed themselves of the um, of the incentive so we just had two teacher retirements mr. Peterson uh, I'm surprised but I'm not surprised because part of that formula is also the uh, the change in the retirement from 65 to 70 under the Reagan Act which now includes our age group mr. Hummelberger so they're not bailing out like uh, like they <laughs> were all right so part of that is also not just retirement but to get that extra Social Security you have to hit the 65 plus and most of them are going to wind up going to 70 years old before they can even look at retirement right now so that's also affecting it I'm, I'm surprised but I'm not after after taking a look at who's in our system and what's left okay thank you thank you very much mm -hmm. um, next I'd like to continue the discussion of the OMS OMS building project mr. Himmelberger Thank you very much, Mr. Spitz. Um, as this is now a, a warrant article, I can only speak to the facts of the middle school project. Um, as most everyone knows, the school building authority has approved this project in 2007 and uh, has allocated a reimbursement rate of almost 58% to the town. Um, there are two important votes uh, that relate to the middle school renovation project. One would be a warrant article uh, at town meeting on Wednesday, May 4th uh, to approve the project. And then if the project is approved, um, a um, debt exclusion uh, vote would be held on May 17th at town elections. Um, so while I cannot advocate for or against, pro or con, I can certainly speak to facts. Um, and I do know that I believe some of the um, PTOs and, and um, friends of will be uh, putting together something for um, the town to look at. Very good. Any Thank questions you. from the committee? Mrs. Ennis? When you say something to look at, you mean photos or something? Or? No, I, I believe, excuse me, Mr. Go right ahead. through the chair, Mrs. Ennis, I believe it's um, information that they wanted to send home. Is there any way we could post some of those p photos that the engineers um, gave us in our I think pictures, people, if you yeah. say a lot, those pictures sure. say, you know, they are on the They are on the website. I know, but for and town um, meeting, I mean, they've had that before when yep. they've done land yep. issues and things like that. I'm sure that we could probably get someone to do that. And if I might, Mr. Chairman, will an engineer be at town meeting in case there are questions? Um, I don't believe RDK is planning to attend. I can certainly ask them. I do know that Mr. Dones will be there, okay. and he is, he is yeah. very knowledgeable. Um, about the building itself. I just think if somebody has specific yeah. questions, yep. if somebody could, yeah. Yeah, I, th okay. I, I think Mr. Dones would be available to, to uh, handle almost any of those. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Thanks. Peterson? Yeah, uh, just along those lines, Mr. Himmelberger said about himself, but it also affects us as what we can actually do or say, too. So just be careful and be aware of your own rules from uh, governing us as school committee members also for advocating, even though we may be for it. The PTOs and things have to be the ones or somebody else, a building committee or the building search committee or something that, like the past had to do the one to uh, solicit. What about members that are leaving? You're free. You can speak. You this can is still speak. Your shackles yeah. are off. Until <laughs> <laughs> the 17th. Um, I, I have just a qu quick question. Will there be someone, I know that I'm piggybacking on Mrs. Ennis's um, um, thoughts about town meeting will there be a presentation or is it just a line yes yes will there be any 
you know, usually someone does get up and give a little, mm -hmm. they hold the, you know, the line mm -hmm. and they give a little spiel of what it is. And I think that's what you're speaking to, like pictures mm -hmm. or whatever at that meeting. Is that in the works to have some type of presentation for that article? I have to double check with council and with uh, the town manager, but I believe that that can be done. That can be done right. as, as right. information, right? We can even right. have the, the photos yeah. there up on the screen because Maybe that do is a slide, a yeah, slideshow on the big we screen. We have had that before. <coughs> yeah. Something because yeah. those pictures that we received in our right. with our information, sure, especially the are, are duct tape very ones, important, yeah. I think, because if you're not in the building right. and you don't see that, so very good. Go right ahead, Mr. Himmelberger. Just to follow up, so in response to that, I think both of those. Uh, ideas. I, let me look into that and see if we can do that. Uh, do we have if do? whether it's me or someone else, mm -hmm. then we can drive that mm -hmm. um, at the town meeting. Absolutely. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Conan. Um, I think all of us also received an email um, about a question about asbestos. Has that been addressed or removal? As far as if there is any, have we verified that there is not? Go right ahead. Um, I did not receive that okay. email. Um, to the best of my knowledge, all school buildings were abated mm. in the uh, early early mid '90s, okay. and um, I think I believe the town has the documentation on that because that was done. Uh, Mr. Peterson would probably remember, but but that was done, I believe, a while back um, through a federal grant program at the time that addressed that. Go right ahead, Mr. Peterson. We, the school committee, got the email, Mr. Hummelberger, and I did look at it, and I haven't had time to address Mr. Valley, but a member of the finance committee sent us that email, and uh, after they had re-looked at the, uh, the specs, I think if you look at the specs, we had no intention of tearing up any of those floors or anything that, that they're questioning, mm -hmm. right? So as long as everything's intact, you won't be finding asbestos. You'll I'm not going to say there isn't stuff in the building because we've had it over the years, but anything that's sealed that we're not removing or... Uh, it my understanding was they were yeah. covering it, and the tiles that's are asbestos. That's exactly what it is. But it they're just going matter. over them. They're not ripping those but up. It's not right? like they're heating the tiles or the and fumes or anything, it, the covering airborne. of it. Right. Uh, right. And the way they're doing it, if you relook at the specs and how they're doing it, uh, I believe it's completely covered okay. from all the, all the uh, asbestos uh, studies that we've had done on all of our buildings over the last 10 years. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay, next on the agenda, under new business, we have our public hearing on the FY12 budget. Um, we will open the floor for comments. Um, we would expect that you would just keep your comments respectful to everybody involved um, and that you identify yourself when you come up to the podium so that the home audience does know who you are. And uh, the floor is now open. Before you do, do yep. that, Mr. S uh, Chairman, I would uh, uh, move that we uh, table the meeting and reconvene after the public hearing. You have to set the meeting aside first before you can go into the public hearing. Well, then I'm going to follow your, your lead on that. So we, Second. Okay, thank you. Could we put that to vote, please? Yes. 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 And I also vote yes. So we put the meeting aside <laughs> to open the floor for comments. <laughs> We're starting a new meeting. So come on up. Let's hear it. We're going to have some volunteers. If people showed up, come on. Let's hear some comments. <laughs> Nothing, huh? You guys are happy with the budget the way it is? And yeah, the thrill. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, there being no comments, um, we will close the floor, but I do thank you for coming. We do appreciate seeing some faces out there, which is great. Um, to reconvene the public meeting. Thank you. Second. Mrs. DeWizek? Yes. Mrs. Yes. Conan? Yes. Mrs. Ennis? Yes. Mr. Peterson? And I also vote yes. That was too easy. You guys let us off the hook too easy on that one. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Could we hear from our superintendent of schools, please? Um, just wanted to say that uh, we had three uh, recent uh, trips and uh, all of us should be very proud of all of our students who went to New York City, Cooperstown, and to uh, Ireland. Um, those types of trips I think are terrific and uh, as a former baseball player, Jeff Bolio must be pretty happy about hitting a home run at Double Day Field. <laughs> That's uh, about as good as it gets. So, and that is all I have. Very good, thank you. Mr. Matthew? Um, in your package was, uh, was the monthly update. There is really not much new or exciting to talk about um, in regards to the budget numbers at this point. Um, there are no transfers requested this evening. At the second meeting in May, um, so four weeks from today basically, um, we will hopefully have a, a 
um, different revised budget to take a look at, and that will include the um, money that comes over from the Ed Jobs Bill. And uh, we can talk about the uh, transfers and all the things that I've been putting against that grant, Ben. Other than that, we're closing out the year, and it's coming quickly. All right, very good. Mrs. DeWidzik? Nothing tonight. No. All right, Mrs. Conan? I have nothing. Mrs. Ennis, you always have something. Not tonight. Wow. Please, Mr. Peterson, Lucky you got to have something here no, tonight. I have nothing except for the thank you. It's uh, humbling, and I appreciate your it's our gesture. Pleasure. Well, it, it yeah, was absolutely. Mrs. Ennis's idea, and I jumped right on that bandwagon, because I'll tell you, I think you deserve it. What's right is right. What, what, what is right is right. Thank and you. you, you've served the town faithfully for all these years, so we appreciate your service. We really do. And I have no comments tonight. So being that there are no more comments, we're going to open the floor one more time, give you a second chance, because that's part of the agenda. Anybody? No? Okay. We're going to close the floor. Uh, we have no request for executive session tonight. Let's Motion go. to adjourn. Thank, Thank you. Second. Yes. Put that to vote. Thank you, Mrs. Conan. Yes. Mrs. Ennis. Yes. Mr. Thank Peterson. You. I also vote yes. We're adjourned. Thank you all very much.